Good morning, y'all. Look at my new wall. I love it. I reorganized everything and I like it. I just don't know if it's given clutter. But I wasn't even planning on making a video today, but one of my friends hit me up and she was like, I've got my license, let's hang out. And so she said, I can literally take you wherever you want. So I've really been wanting to go to this like two story super thrift store and it's in like the Valley area. This place blew up on TikTok and it's known to have like really good affordable prices. And that's exactly what I'm needing. Cause if you guys saw my previous haul, well, Arthur's thrift haul, he went to Savers and things were like over a hundred dollars. So way most of this intro was filmed at a really bad angle. I'm so sorry, you guys. I do have just a quick meeting before we start a day. So let me just get through this and then I'll show you my outfit of the day because I really love it. I feel so productive today. I wrapped up that meeting. I filmed the TikTok. I put a cute outfit on today and I paid off my credit card. It's the little things, y'all, because my period is about to start and I could already feel the sadness creeping in. I'm really happy that my friend Wendy asked me to come hang out because it's totally needed. But also something about my new phone case just sparks joy. Look at how freaking adorable. And it comes with an attached keychain too. But before we leave, I do want to take a little snack for her. I feel like it's just the mom in me. And my mind was absolutely blown this morning because I woke up to the news just like everyone else that Timothy Shamway and Kylie Jenner, their relationship has been confirmed. What the heck? Never in a million years would I see them as a couple, but like, low-key they're really cute together and i don't know how old timothy is but like i feel like he's a little young to kind of play a dad role but i'm interested to see how all of this is gonna play out okay but for reals now we're good let's go meet up with wendy this is where we're at today we are starting off with super thrift i have my little cart here i just went through camisoles and didn't have the greatest luck in there also i feel so bad but i didn't introduce you guys to wendy we just got really busy Ooh. What are you? That's really cute, but it's a modern brand. We got really busy just chatting, so I didn't have time to introduce you guys, but I will once we are back in the car. Let's go check out some skirts though. I made my way to the skirts and I'm not having the greatest luck. Like I think this might be the cutest thing I was able to find so far, but I don't really have anything that I'm on the lookout for. Maybe just a few more pieces for, ooh, this is kind of cute. I am a big fan of roses. I just don't like how pixelized it looks. Prices here are also super good, but I'm loving this double pant situation. That's actually so fun. I wonder if this is like fast fashion or vintage. Let's see. Ooh, it's the brand Clash jeans made in China. Okay, if I'm still thinking about it, we'll come get her. Let's see, Wendy says that she, <gasps> that's hecka cute, I love it. Oh, Wendy, this is freaking adorable. I'll gladly take it. I'm not having any luck. See, I think I started off in the wrong section. Wait, that is so cute too. And then maybe, literally everything I got was for. <laughs> and then there's this one. Wait, I already love that print. <gasps> what the heck? Wait, you don't want any of this? No, it's okay. I'm what like, the heck? Wear something like this. We didn't have the greatest luck here. Literally all my items Wendy found for me. But I did want to just check out bathing suits and then the lingerie section. Just because bathing suits get really expensive. So I would rather buy them secondhand. And of course, I'm always on the lookout for slips so that I can put graphics on them. We have this little corset. It's by Adore Me but I'm not the biggest fan of purple, so we're gonna leave her behind. Our first thrift store, damage has been done. She's gonna show me this thrift find that she got at Buffalo Exchange. Oh <laughs> my gosh, this is beautiful. It's cute. She spent 50 bucks on it. Look at this. Oh my goodness. It's giving La Familia Peluche. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you guys. Okay, so this is very awesome. Late introduction, but I wanted to sh I wanted you guys to meet Wendy. Hi. We met at a flea market, huh? Yeah, we met at a flea market. We guys, I swear, that's like literally the only place that I ever make friends here in Los Angeles. We are both vendors at 88 Trade. Wendy's taking me all over Los Angeles, so we're gonna hit up thrift store number two, and it's Valley Valley Center or <laughs> Value Valley. I don't know. I featured it before here on my channel, and it's a really good one. They have really good prices, and they're always putting out new inventory. So that's where we're headed next. I'm in the laundry section and came across this one. I was like, oh, that's pretty awesome. Just for it to be 
freaking Shein. Okay, we're gonna pass on that one, even though it is pretty awesome. The lingerie isn't really doing anything for us today, so let's check out if we can find any, like, I know we're already coming. Ooh, this is giving, ooh, I love her. She's giving fairy. Ooh, let's check out this tag. I know summer's already coming close to an end, but I'm really good at using all of my pieces year round. So we'll probably just hold on to her. Ooh, look at this cherry. Ooh, this one is so cute. We're definitely gonna hold on to her. Let's see if we can see what brand it is and check price. This is Ronnie Nicole, $12.99. Okay, that's a little steep, but we'll see how she looks on the body. And if not, we'll just put her back. The way that we've only been here for like less than five minutes and my arms are already full. And we were just like, oh, we're not gonna take a cart. And then look at us. I just checked the lingerie section and this is what I'm talking about. They're constantly putting out new inventory. Look at what's here now. This is so damn cute. It has a little, okay. The speaker's way too loud in here. Also, fair warning, it's so overstimulating in here because it's loud, there's a ton of people, there's just a lot of movement and commotion. So, fair warning if you plan to check this place out. But look at this, so cute. It's a size small and only $4.99. Hell yeah, we're gonna take her. That was a sign, we definitely need a cart just because I'm having such good luck today. So let's get this, I'm gonna go ahead and just share it with Wendy. We're in the skirt section, already starting off super strong with this fairy grunge tiered maxi skirt. Price tag only $4.99. And I think this might be vintage. Linda Barazzi. And it looks like it's a one size fits all. But usually that fits like a good small to medium. All right, let's see if anything else catches our eyes. I'm kind of wanting something with more print or even texture. These girls just passed by with this huge ass panda. That's so cute. Okay, look, we have another really good find. I think this one might fit more like a knee length skirt. Another $4.99 piece. And what brand is this? Amy, A-M-I. I love how pastel it is, only it is really giving spring, summer. So kind of outside of the season, but you know what? That's just too cute not to get. As we were walking in, we saw these two women loading up their truck with not even kidding, maybe 20, 30 of these boxes. And it looks like they took a whole bunch of these like fake bootleg Uggs. These are so damn comfy. They are asking $14.99, which I think is a little steep. I've never heard of this brand though. I think it's Podge. So, I mean, if you really want them, they have a whole bunch of boxes. So I'll leave the address of this place down below. But then I saw this chain that was hanging and it belongs to this shirt that's just given like super groovy. It's the brand Poetry. I think this is a paper tag made in USA. Hell yeah, we're gonna take her. I see some sparkle escape. I'm kind of into this print. Let's see if this is any good. Honestly, it's so hard to grab individual pieces. Oh, I was hoping it would have a more exciting silhouetting cut, but it's just like a classic sleeveless tank. So we're gonna leave her, but we did pull this one out. Ooh, nice. Oh my gosh. We have a Harley Davidson. It says Harley Girls Bike Patrol. What's on the back? Ooh, it's from Nevada. And for only $4.99, that is so good. Teddy bears have me in such a big chokehold right now, but it's she in on the bright side. It is only $2.99, but we're gonna put her back, but she does deserve her little moment. I usually skip through the black clothes pretty quickly, but I did come across this one. I personally don't know if I like it. It does kind of give me like, oh, actually now that I'm looking at this price tag, maybe I don't but Buyer California is one of my favorites. I'll just put it in the cart and see if maybe it's something that Wendy wants, but I don't know. Is this cute or am I just stuck on this tag? The black camisole section is hitting so good today. Look at this one. I'm not the biggest fan of these neutral colored beads, but she's so cute. And she also has this little vent on the front. So super flattering on the body. We're definitely gonna put her in. Found another item that isn't really exciting when you look at the cut or silhouette, but look at this tag. It's XOXO. We have a paper tag and tags are still attached. It doesn't look like it's part of a set, but this is just such a boring shirt. I do really like the sheen to it, but it's also 
ten dollars so we're gonna pass on her oh does it look like those girls were able to take their big panda home that's so cute okay let's go check up with wendy see if she's found anything quite yet oh something yellow something super bright that's so cute and still tags are attached to i love how bright this is and at the same time kind of giving fairy but look at the fringe that we have going on on both sides the ribbon the lace and it has a front snap closure but i don't know it's just about the details it's super cute i was trying to find a brand tag on here or a size tag and it has absolutely nothing so it's hard to tell whether it's modern or vintage but it's only $2.99 I can't really tell if this is cute or not, but I'm gonna go ask Wendy. We finally wrapped up here and I do have three little go backs. So I actually really like this shirt, especially because it's totally vintage. This paper tag is so worn, you can't even read it anymore, but it's only $3.99 and I was like this close to taking it. Only the stitching is coming undone on the cuff. So we're gonna leave her. This one I thought, you know, it's pretty cool and I really do like the vent, but it's just a little boring and outside of my style. Plus, I don't know if that's vintage. So we're just gonna leave her. And then lastly is this dress. I really like the color. I love the print and that it has a back tie closure, but I just don't think it really does much because the neckline is very boring. There's not much going on to it. So we're gonna leave her too. I swear, Wendy's just like Arthur. She found a camera and she's for the past like 15 minutes, she's been inspecting it. So let's see if she ends up getting it. Also heads up y'all, this place only accepts cash. So fair warning and the line is criminal. Look at how long that is. I've already been waiting for like maybe a good 15, 20 minutes. Or at our last thrift store. This is the one that I was super excited about because it's a two story. And Wendy recommended it too because they have a ton of inventory. So let's go check it out. This is so cute. Oh, that's adorable. But I did see something from the window. And oh, this is so cute. But I don't like the, the elastic waist. Okay, let's go check out that one item. Oh wait, where is it? Oh, this. I saw this. Oh my God, I love this. Look at all the detail. It's really hefty too. Okay, but let's see. Moment of truth. Holy crap. It's so cute. Money is 25 though. That's a lot of money. But you know what? We'll hold on to her because she's Thank really you. good. But Jesus, it's so much. It's okay. One for me. <laughs> you have got to be kidding. Brown skirts are totally coming through today. Okay, this one is only $4.99, so a lot better than that $24.99 one. But look at this. This just screams forest fairy. Only I don't really know if I like the detail on the back. It looks a little weird, but oh, love her. I want to show her off to Wendy, but let's keep looking. We literally came across this brand at the other thrift store. So let's see what this dress is looking like. Okay, it's all right. I'm not too crazy about the halter neck, but I do like the open back. It just looks a little dated to me. If it were in another color, like maybe not this aqua, but maybe a maroon or black, then we would take it, but let's see, how much is it? $4.99, yeah, I'm loving these prices. This is what the thrift store is looking like. It is massive. And then we still have the second floor, and I'm loving that it's pretty late in the afternoon and it's pretty much empty in here. Ooh, I am wanting some comfy shoes for Paris. And I don't know what it is, but I've been coming across so many Puma shoes. I actually love these. Let's see what size they are. They're size eight. I think we're gonna have to get her tried on. I feel like this would totally work for like a bloquette core aesthetic. They actually fit kind of big. They fit more like an eight and a half. Cause look, my toe's right there and there's a ton of space. So we're gonna leave these behind. We're finally headed up to the second floor. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's just kids clothes and like toys. But hey, you never know. Maybe we could find some baby tees up in here. The view from here is wild. We literally went through all of that, but I'm just quickly scanning to see if there's any baby tees, but I'm not having any luck. But okay, let's go check out. Ooh, maybe this red one. What are you? Oh, that's kind of cute. Little holiday edition. Okay, so I think right now I only have two items in my cart. They're both 
brown maxi skirt. So one of them is super expensive. The other one is pretty cheap, but I'm really loving all the detail on the first one that I picked up. And it's so cute. <laughs> Do you want this one, Wendy? Robless. Okay, she's gonna take it. <laughs> this looks so good though. Okay, okay wait, let me just show them one last time. <laughs> Look at how good. We're even, we're even. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna that you. Okay, let's just hope. That one's so cute too. But for 20, oh shit, for 25 though, I like all the pots like, And it's heavy, so it comes down a lot. My mother Braddy can get it. She's gonna stay. I'm so excited for today's thrift haul, y'all. It is so good. It's been a while since I picked up a lot of color and different prints at a good price. I'm telling you, the valley is where it's at when it comes to thrifting. It just encouraged me even more to learn how to drive. So when I get back from France, that is gonna be the first thing I do. But I did pick up a lot of items for myself and for you guys too. They're gonna be available on Whatnot. You guys already know how obsessed I am with this app, but if you don't know about them, Whatnot is a live stream auction app where you can buy and sell items. So let me just open the Whatnot app with you so you know what I'm looking at. But the keyword here is live stream. So unlike Depop or eBay, where you're just scrolling through a whole bunch of listings, on Whatnot, you're just scrolling through live streams. And it's just a lot more engaging and you get to communicate with the auction What's pretty awesome too is that I've made so many friends from whatnot and it's just from watching live streams and interacting with everyone But even better is that I've picked up a lot of cute clothes. So let me show off a few pieces We're gonna start off strong with the vintage trip dress that has the birth of Venus right on the front It has the slinky spaghetti straps I purchased this from little pug and it is one of my most cherished pieces and I do plan to take this to vacation Another one of my favorites. Look at this vintage Forever 21 tag. But so we have the asymmetrical straps, the black and white fire print, and all over sequins. And this I purchased from Yuka Sword. And not sure if you can see it, but I actually have some beige and pink pants right here. I now have them in beige and blue, all thanks to Sky High on whatnot. So I do quite a bit of damage on the app, but it's okay. I make up for it because I'm also a seller on the app. So I'm gonna be hosting my own live stream the 15th of this month whoopsies you guys i totally messed up i will be hosting my whatnot live stream on the 14th of this month at 6 p.m pst that is the 14th not the 15th because that's when i'm actually leaving los angeles for france so just a heads up and everything is going to have a start bid of just one dollar i have a link down below in my description box where you can download the whatnot app for the first time and get 15 dollars in shopping credit that you could either use in one of my live streams or anywhere else in app let's finally get to my thrift haul y'all know that i collect clowns so valley value center my favorite thrift store ever if you ever visit la make sure you hit that one up i think i might even go next week because i had just such good luck there although there are a few pieces that like are kind of outrageous in price but for the most part everything was under five dollars this little guy here was in the back of where the cash registers were at and i paid eight dollars for it 7.99 but i think it's totally worth it and this also reminds me of the halloween costume that i literally made for arthur last year but i definitely couldn't leave this one behind but let me know what you guys plan on dressing up as this Halloween. I have already decided I'm not gonna hand make them, but I decided that Arthur and I are gonna go as like zombie Victorian people. It was awesome shopping with Wendy though because she knew exactly what I liked. And so she saw this and I was like, it's so dreamy, it's so pretty. And what's so surprising is that it's in awesome condition. Usually when I come across lingerie pieces that have a lot of nylon, they'll either be a lot of runs or holes, and this is nearly perfect. I was a little worried about the cups because I didn't think they were gonna fit, but I am like just a few days away from starting my period, so I filled them up pretty nicely. The way that I've always wanted to thrift a dress with some sort of fruit on it, and I finally did it. So, okay, bad thing is that it fits me a little bit, but I feel like I can get away with it. And also, I'm not the craziest about polka dots, but I feel like the cherries and the flowers really save it. But as soon as I found this, I was like, all right, we're good. I'm ready to go home. This is all I really wanted. And I could already envision this with some like really cute frilly socks and red Mary Janes. Y'all, look at the color. Look at the print. It's covered in all of these watercolored flowers and it's just so pretty. I honestly wish I could have thrifted this like earlier in the season because now everyone is prepping for fall fashion. Luckily for me, it's still really, really hot in Los Angeles. So people are still dressing like it's summer, but I am noticing that I'm not using 
my AC as often anymore, so the chilly nights are coming. I'm usually not a big fan of the color purple, but for this dress, I was willing to make an exception because usually when I come across these dresses, I immediately think, okay, it'll be good for prom, but because this one is a lot shorter, it was just screaming fairy, and the tag reads that it's a size extra large. So I thought it was like an extra large in juniors, and also just holding it up, the ruching here and the draping kind of makes it look like it would fit or run smaller, but no. But that just means that one of you guys will be able to snag this on whatnot. Keeping it strong with the colors and the prints, we came across some self-esteem. Okay, I didn't, but Wendy did. I thought she picked this up for herself, but she was gonna leave it. So I was like, if you're not taking that, I gladly will. But it's micro mesh, a long sleeve, and just has this all over paisley print. Tell me this one doesn't scream fall. It's gonna make such a good little layering piece and Harley Davidson for only $4.99. And on the back of Harley pieces, it always has some sort of state. And I've never been to any of the ones I ever have come across. But this is Nevada. I've actually been to Nevada. Las Vegas is where I got married. I know I'm not wearing my ring, but it's on my table. So totally am obsessed with this one, but there really isn't much to it because it is just a tank. And then we have the graphic on the front and the back. This one, I am really sad that it doesn't fit me, but we have another paper tag made in USA. It's the brand poetry. Do y'all see that pointed hem? But what's even better is this halter neck because it's this beaded chain. As far as metal halter necks, I've never seen anything like this. It kind of mimics a necklace. I've only ever come across the wire neck. So I thought this was really cool. And not only do we have this really fun print, but it's plissé construction. Hopefully you're not too bored of these mesh sheer pieces, but Wendy found another cute piece for me. So like I was saying earlier, with nylon pieces, when they're thrifted, they tend to be pretty damaged. So we have a lot of runs or holes. This one I got too excited about and forgot to examine it, but we do have a little bit of the stitching coming undone. But I can easily put this under the sewing machine and then fix that up. But we have this spaghetti strap dress. It has this little ruffle detail on the bust and this all over floral print. I know I wear a lot of sheer things, but for some reason, I was having such a hard time styling this. So if you have any ideas, let me know down below in the comments. This one was such a good one and another find of Wendy's, but I'm so sad about it because the tag says that it's a size small, but look at this. There is not much stretch in this and it would not go over my broad shoulders. But it's covered in this all over hard print and it just plays with a whole bunch of ruffles on the bust and also the hem. And I've never heard of this brand before. It's Jennifer, but it was priced pretty expensive at $6.99 at Super Thrift. We're down to our last item and it's this one here. Okay, I know you're looking at it and you're just thinking, Danielle, a muumu? A freaking muumu? Why? But I am fully convinced that if I put some really awesome graphics on the front and maybe the back, we could revamp it and make it less granny, less haunted, and a lot more edgy and cool. That pretty much does it for thrifting in the valley. Y'all, the thrifts in the valley are so much more superior than here in the city. There's better pricing, better inventory. So if you wanna check out the ones that I went to and you are in the SoCal area, I'll leave the addresses down below in the description box. Also, don't forget to bookmark my whatnot live stream that's gonna be the 15th of this month. Everything is gonna have a $1 starting bid and that's because I'm clearing out all my inventory before I leave the country, so everything needs to go. I'll leave a link down below in my description box where you can get $15 in shopping credit when you download the whatnot app for the first time. I will see you guys the 15th of this month at 6 p.m. PSC. As always, y'all, I do post videos at least once a week. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!